probably not worth saying that war is, first and foremost, pain, loss, bitterness, and horror. It takes the lives of millions of people, begging the peoples of different countries to face each other in terrible combat. And when it breaks into the peaceful life of ordinary people, always brings only misfortune and, of course, disrupts the usual way of life. But if someone thinks that after the end of hostilities, well, clearly not. And often, friends, it also happens that the echoes of war can be found in our days, as happened with the heroes of our history today. Much has already been said about the Vietnam War, but it was in the year 1972 one of the most difficult. The small village in which Ho Van Tan lived with the family did not escape the disaster. The man hoped until the end that his town would not be affected by the hostilities, but unfortunately, fate decreed otherwise. On that tragic day for Ho Van Tan's family, the war came to his village, and it happened that almost the whole family of the man could not get out alive. Realizing that he could no longer stay in the town, he had no choice but to save himself and his son. The man took the child in his arms and ran into the surrounding jungle. I can no longer remember how long we ran for then. Time seemed to have stopped. It was probably several days before I realized we were safe. But what to do next, and how to cope? He couldn't answer all these questions, but I knew I had to recover, the man later recalled. Left alone with his two-year-old baby in his arms in the wilderness, he realized that he simply could not survive in the open, and soon set about building a small shelter, and after a while, he even made a camp in the lowlands on the bank of a mountain river. For a long time, I could not recover from what happened. I lost everything I had. But looking into the deep eyes of my son, I understood that I had to go on with improvised means. Ho Van Tan understood that the living conditions here were not bad and were not in danger. The man built a hut in the trees, a few meters above the ground. This hut later became his new home. He had no idea how long he would have to spend there, but he knew for sure at least several months. In time, Ho Van Tan adapted to such a wild way of existence and had no particular problems with food. There were plenty of berries, fruits, and vegetables in the forest. In addition, the man learned to catch and cook fish, frogs, lizards, bats, birds, and even monkeys. Besides, he had to take care of the child, and the baby always stayed at home when he went hunting. The hut was located at a height so that wild predators could not enter. At first, it was hard to do without the usual things. The small, close-knit family used chopsticks to eat, and instead of blankets, they used leaves and grasses. Indeed, that's how they spent the first few weeks in the jungle. After about a month in the jungle, Ho Van Tan stumbled upon a wrecked helicopter, which proved useful. There they found many valuable things, which later became reliable help at home. The hardest part was keeping the fire steady but they soon learned to deal with it. Days after days passed, and I had already lost track of time. He shared his memories with Ho Van Tan. But it must be said, life in the wild was beneficial. Clean air, healthy food, crystal clear water gave strength. Little Lang was growing by leaps and bounds, and probably friends, even if we will find it hard to imagine now, but without realizing it, they knew that it was not months, but years. Long ago, Ho Van Tan lost track of time in the jungle. He could only tell by how his son had grown. Without civilization, Lang grew up practically as a savage. The little hermit was wholly cut off from society. He didn't know what kind of world lurked behind the mountains and forests. He could only imagine it a little from his father's discreet stories. As I said before, life in the jungle had paid off. Lang became sturdy and strong. He could now easily make his way through the vines and get food. But there were many disadvantages to such a life. The boy did not know much, despite his age. The father was able to teach his son to count only to ten, because he could not continue. Moreover, Lang had never seen himself in the mirror. 
He often looked into the river and tried to capture his image, but the mountain river was very turbulent, and he rarely managed to see his silhouette. I was apprehensive and understood that Lang would have many different problems and questions in time. Therefore, I decided I would not talk to him about women, not to damage his psyche and thus suppress his instincts. In fact, with age, Lang, feeling no attraction, the father understood that there was no other way out. From time to time, the man and his now mature son saw people in the distance, but Ho Van Tan forbade Lang to interact with them. And after such encounters, they always went deeper and deeper into the jungle, believing that the war was still going on in their country. Perhaps if they had the courage and had gone to meet civilization, they might have discovered that peace had already reigned in their land for many years, but the fear and the memories of what he had seen made the decent family man afraid of the people. He even went out several times to meet the people, but he did not understand and did not know what was going on there. Perhaps these were just prisoners. They would immediately be handed over to the enemy. In general, there were more questions than answers, and therefore they decided to live, albeit in the jungle, but free. And most likely, the world would never have learned about the story of the father and son, if not for what happened after many years. And no matter what anyone says, fate always has plans for us. It was what happened to our heroes. Ho Van Tan, living as a hermit in the jungle, believed that his whole family had died during that military attack on the village. Still, it turned out that after all, the eldest son, named Ho Van Tree, survived. And not only survived, but for many years tried to find his father and reunite his family. I knew that my father and my little brother managed to escape. I was determined to find them because I had no one apart from them. Every year I got closer and closer to where they lived, but they went deeper and deeper into the jungle each time. It took me a lot of time and effort to find my relatives, but I did not deviate from my goal," said Ho Van Tree. For over 30 years, he single-handedly scoured the surrounding jungle and made a route and map. Sometimes he saw traces of a person's presence and a campfire, but every time he arrived, no one was there. The farthest route was about 90 kilometers deep into the jungle, and for all these years, there was only one very remote area left, and it was there as the man believed his father and brother must have been. He believed until the last moment that they survived. He knew his father would not give up in the face of hardship, and even though everyone said they were long gone, the man did not give up trying to find them. And I think, as you understood, one day he succeeded. In 2013, after the unreal amount of 41 years, after that very day, Ho Van Tree managed to find his father and brother after that same day. At first, he was not allowed to approach them. The father was already weak and old and could not recognize his eldest son. But as soon as he said his mother's name, the man's eyes began to shed tears. The older man could not even imagine that in all this time, his son was alive. Mind you, it was not easy to communicate with the hermits, because no matter how they see it, the years of living alone gave their own, and even after he found his family, the difficulties did not end there. The man tried to convince his relatives to return to the big world, and they began to live fully. As he later said, I was surprised that my younger brother, who spent almost all his life as a hermit in the jungle, accepted to live in civilization without any problem. But my father was adamantly against returning, justifying this because he is calmer in the jungle and feels safe here, Ho Van Tree later told reporters. But still, after lengthy persuasion from his sons, Ho Van Tan relented and agreed to return to society. It turned out that the nearest village was 40 kilometers away, and when they began to leave, Ho Van Tan was so exhausted that he could not walk alone. He was carried away on a stretcher. As for the adaptation, of course, Lang took the new world with great excitement. He was amazed at absolutely everything. You should have seen his eyes when he saw the car driving his older brother. He was delighted with the electricity that people don't sleep in trees and that there was no need to keep the fire burning constantly. 
He only knew a few words, and of course, the appearance of other people, their way of speaking, and even the clothes and daily life simply surprised him a lot at first. And when he tasted the cooked sea fish, this dish instantly became his favorite. Now nothing is known about Ho Van Tan's whereabouts after seven years. The man was already old and sick, but Ho Van Lang now lives at home, communicates with different people, and has learned the language quite well. He also participates in various projects and documentaries made about him. Of course, some habits of the wild world remained, but this is not surprising since he lived in the jungle for 40 years. His open and childlike character and his spontaneity caused even emotion. As for Ho Van Tan, he could not accept the new reality and constantly wanted to return to the jungle. The photos of the heroes in this video are few, but I think this is not strange because, fortunately, no one with a camera in the jungle was following them. There are only a few photos that are a reconstruction of this story, and it happened that so for almost 40 years, the father and his son lived as hermits in the jungle. The war took them there. Their faith in the future and his eldest son's love helped them return to civilization. Friends, what do you think of this whole story? Leave your opinion in the comments. But that's all for today. Like the video and see you soon.